Let's get to the latest on the coronavirus now. Ohio reports 1,047 new cases today, which is below the 21-day average, but the state also confirms 30 deaths, nearly double the three-week average. And the new study from the CDC shows a lot more of us are walking around with the virus. In some states, more than 10 times than what's being reported. Laura Queso has more on that. This graph shows a coronavirus trend here in Ohio, up and down for months. A new CDC study shows the numbers in several states are actually much higher than reported. For most states in the study, the number of infections is 10 times the numbers reported. Data from antibody tests indicate that many people, up to 40 percent with no symptoms, may be spreading the virus. We took the findings to Dr. Amy Edwards of University Hospitals. So we've been saying for a long time that there's a lot of asymptomatic cases out there that we aren't testing for. We've been saying for a long time that there's probably some, you know, some mildly, you know, mildly symptomatic people that aren't being tested. And this is confirmation of that. What it shows, though, is that it is, there is a lot of variation to it. Like New York City, the study finds nearly 25 percent of the population had antibodies in early May. So you would think initially that it would be like, oh, yay, herd immunity, that's coming soon. Actually, we're still light years away from herd immunity. That's because we are still talking low numbers. Experts believe 60 percent of people in an area would need to have been exposed to the coronavirus to reach herd immunity, the point where enough people are immune to the virus. Remember, this is all fluid, right? This isn't like none of this is set in stone, you know, until we're done and have all the data. Dr. Edwards says testing in Ohio has increased about 30 percent, but our positivity rate is up more than 100 percent. So we know all of this info might seem overwhelming and you might be thinking, well, what's next for us? She says continue social distancing, washing your hands and wearing your mask. It can help stop the spread for us. OK, Laura Queso in the newsroom. Thank you.